Hey guys, it's Nadia from Leah Dia Designs and I'm back with another really fun and exciting video. This is a new mold I recently purchased from Resinara Molds and uh, it's one that I had my eye on for a really long time and she recently had a sale and I just couldn't help myself. I had to get it. So now that I have it, I this is the first time I'm actually putting any kind of resin in the molds. So I wanted to share this with you guys because I'm just really going to experiment here and just see how it looks. There's so many amazing details to this mold. So it's actually kind of tricky to figure out where to put, you know, which colors of resin or we should just pour it all as a solid. So I'm going to experiment here with actually filling in just certain areas with certain colors. And then we'll see what kind of effect we get with that. So I've already mixed up my resin. And as you know, I use a one-to-one -one resin, which is crystal resin. It's a bit of a thicker, medium viscosity resin once it's all mixed up. So I find that it helps with these type of projects where the resin doesn't tend to run as much as the thinner ones. So I know I get that question asked a lot of times of why the colors don't run. And I think that's probably why. Technically, I don't do any kind of waiting or letting it thicken. It's just basically the time it takes me to mix the resin and then to mix in the colors. Um, in terms of colors, I am going to be, I have mixed up a couple mica powders, some glitter, and also one pigment paste. And I'll list everything below the video in my description where I put links and discount codes and things like that as well. So, so now that I've gone ahead and added the details on the bottom, I'm going to add the same glitter to the top. So, and I'm going to use the paintbrush to kind of fill in areas to kind of control the resin a little bit so that it doesn't flow too much. And then we'll do the same with all the other colors. So we'll go into a time lapse just now and uh, you guys can watch as I go ahead and fill this in and then we'll see you on the other side. Okay, so we're just going to finish up here with the blue and then I'm going to just continue to fill the rest of the mold with whatever colors I have left over and just try to make sure we get the mold filled. So we're going to do that and then we heat it just a little bit with the heat gun, not too much. Again, the heat uh, gun in this case, we're really just kind of getting any of the surface bubbles. We're not going to be able to get any bubbles that have fallen uh, that are in between or deep down inside the mold and we really shouldn't be adding enough heat to try to do that anyway just because this type of silicone or any of these molds really shouldn't be treated with that much heat just because it will damage the mold over time so we're just going to finish that up here and then we'll let it sit overnight to cure and we'll unmold it in the morning
So it's the next morning and we're going to go ahead and take this out of the mold. It's still a little bit soft um, just because I did this late at night so it didn't have that many hours yet to completely harden but it's okay. We're going to take that out anyway and see how she looks. And as you can see, the colors worked out really well on this piece. I'm really happy with it. And you can really see the details um, there, but it's only really when you look at it in the reflection of the light do you see the details clearly. So I want to do a little something to add, um, some to enhance that a little bit. So I'm going to add some gold to a lot of some of the details, just kind of randomly hand paint it. So we're going to go into that step next. So if you watched my previous mandala videos, you'll know the next step that we're doing here. It is just adding some details. And what I do is I use a fine paintbrush with um, some gloss varnish mixed with some sort of either mica powder or glitter or something that will um, just kind of give that little bit of a color or a look that I'm looking for. So in this case, I, I have a kind of a glitter I guess it's called. It's from Advanced Metallics. So they actually have glitter that is made out of metal and it's really cool because it's super shiny and sparkly and it actually is heavier than most glitters. So it stays where you want it to go. So if you wanted to pour it in a mold, it would sink down to the bottom. And if that's the kind of look that you're looking for, it works out really well for that. It doesn't float. So you have a little bit more control over it. And I find that when I am doing detail work like this, it actually sits really well on the resin as well. So I mix it with a little bit of gloss varnish. And again, I list all these products in the description under my video. And um, yeah, so I just mix it with the varnish and then I go ahead with my paintbrush and I add in the details. I'm not gonna be painting in all the details and I know that some people will just kind of take a mold like this, create the, the resin piece from it, and then they'll just kind of you know, do a top coat of paint over the whole thing, like a gold paint, and then they'll rub it off to kind of let the the, um, the paint just go into the grooves of the, the engravings of the mold. But um, in my case, I don't actually want to do that. I want it to be selective with the details that I'm adding. I don't want to be, I don't want to put uh, the paint into every single groove of the mold. I want to actually um, just kind of pick and choose and just highlight the areas that I wanted to highlight. So you'll see here that's what I'm doing and uh, again we're going to a time lapse so that uh, you can watch this as we quickly go by.
and here's the final look. I absolutely love these gold details on the peacock. Um, for a little added protection, I will usually just add a layer of clear varnish over top of this just to kind of protect the paint so that it doesn't chip off or get damaged. But otherwise, it's done. I hope you guys like it. If you do, please leave me a comment and uh, don't forget to subscribe. Thanks so much. Thanks. See you guys. Bye.